Would you be interested in saving money on taxes, donating to your favorite charity, and creating income at the same time? I have some win-win suggestions you may find useful. Many people want to donate to a favorite charity, but they're afraid that they don't have the resources to really make a difference. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney in San Antonio, Texas, who helps people with estate planning and wills. And here are some ideas that you may not have known about. I have four good ideas for you. First, did you know that if you have some stock that you've held for a very long time or that has greatly appreciated in value, if you sell it, there's going to be a large capital gains tax. But if you transfer that stock in kind to a 501c3 organization, then you immediately get a tax deduction and they get the present value of that stock and there's no capital gains tax. It's a win-win for everybody. Second, have you considered a life estate in real estate? If you have some real estate, you can deed the interest in the real estate after you die to a 501c3 organization. You get the tax deduction now for the charitable contribution and you get to continue to use the property any way you want to. It's yours during your lifetime. But the minute you die, it belongs to that organization outside of probate. They don't even have to probate it. It belongs to them immediately upon death. Third, have you considered a life insurance policy? You could either transfer one you already own or buy a new one and name a charitable organization as the beneficiary of the life insurance policy. So you pay a little bit of money in premiums now, and when you pass away, they get the benefit of the proceeds of that life insurance. You could also talk to your life insurance agent about a charitable annuity that you could purchase that would give you a fixed annuity income for life and benefit the charitable organization at the same time. Finally, in your will, you can leave some of your estate to your charitable organization and still provide for your own family. So these are just some suggestions. It's important for you to talk to an attorney and to a estate planning attorney or a um, financial advisor about your particular situation before you make up your mind.